it's food pantry day. Let's check on this mini fridge. All right, we got a lot of space right here. So we're gonna go to the food pantry and fill this up. We're going to the food pantry, y'all. Come on, let's go. We're gonna get some goodies. On these slippers. Hey everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my living room for this week's food pantry haul. If you are a brand new viewer, I hope I earn your subscription. It means a lot to me when you subscribe and to all of the returning subscribers, welcome back. Let's get into the haul. We got some really good stuff this week. Up, let's take a look at the meats and please stay tuned for the score of the week under the little yellow towel. This looks so good. This is ice glazed boneless skinless chicken with rib meat. Yum. Look at that. I could feed an army with all this meat. Let's take a look at the perishable items. We got some great stuff this week. We got a breakfast pizza. We got stuffed olives a fancy schmancy cheese tray. We got some Peruvian chicken. 
chicken salad on rolls. I love these little drinks. This is a, what is this called? Mighty, Mighty Dozen. Then we got three salad kits here. Huge container of berries. We got feta cheese, a slice of cake. And you know me, if you watch the channel on the regular, I can't have the cake the way it comes. So I'm gonna have to doctor this up so it works for me. We got the lemon cannoli, had those before, absolutely delicious. We've got Chunky Minis Holy Guacamole and a container of Chunky Traditional Guacamole. I just noticed this has a little mold on here and these are the Natural Treat Golden Berries. I gotta take that uh, moldy one out and rescue the rest of the berries. But I'm super excited about all of this food. Thank you, Food Pantry. Almost forgot to show you these strawberry cups as part of the perishable items. I gotta put this in the freezer. So some of this stuff, it's gotta go to my friend's house because my mini fridge, the mini freezer is packed. For the bathroom and kitchen supplies category, we got two rolls of Amazon toilet paper and some AIM toothpaste. It says multi-benefit, cleans, freshens, and protects. Well, you can't go wrong with that. Now for a look at the countertop perishable items. First up, we have these beautiful apples, and these are called Gala apples. Look at that color, they're gorgeous. And then we got these chocolate chip cookies that have an outrageous amount of carbs for one cookie. It has 25 net carbs. We got this Trader Joe's jalapeno cheddar bread. It looks fantastic. 18 net carbs for one serving. There's six servings in this container. My favorite cookie, the oatmeal cranberry cookie with almonds, 13 net carbs. That's a lot more manageable than the 25. Then we've got corn tortillas. For one tortilla, it has 10 net carbs. So I eat my sweet treats, but I just try to be aware of what the carbohydrate load is so I don't have too much sugar hitting my system all at once. I'm really excited about the apples because I usually avoid the produce, the loose produce, but I tried to give it a shot this time and I hope these are good. I was able to pick these out individually. They weren't packaged up for me, so I got to make that choice. This is pretty cool. We got an organic basil plant right here. Potted Herb Garden, it's organic. I think I'm gonna put this out there with Mr. Turtle and see if it will revive any. We'll get it, we're gonna give it a try. All right, let's head on out. Ooh, it's cold out here. This weather is crazy. There we go. Mr. Turtle, I brought you a plant. I hope you like it. Ta-da, the score of the week, we got wild cold water salad shrimp. I don't know why it's called salad shrimp, but look at this. Doesn't it look good? Wow, I never see stuff like this at the food pantry. I'm really excited to get that. And the big question is, will all of this food fit in the mini fridge? Please stay tuned and we'll find out. Right, this is exciting to work with all of this food from the food pantry. I'm gonna have to do some repackaging because my mini fridge, if you're new to the channel, when I got this place, I use a mini fridge because that's what I could afford when I moved here. But I've gotta get all this packed in my mini fridge, so let's get to work. So we're gonna take the stuff that's already tightly packaged, like the guacamole and the feta, I can't wait to have this drink and we're gonna put this in the mini fridge because I can't really repackage this but so much. Some of this other stuff we can go ahead and get repackaged so let me grab my containers. on each item 
just to make it easier to try to streamline the process a little bit. Let's work on the cheese tray first. Yeah, boy, look at this. This thing is huge, gorgeous. Wow, look at that. This tray actually has my favorite Marcona almond, but there's also the lovely little fig. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna add the beautiful Marcona almonds into my reusable, washable container. These are either cherries or what else could that be? Not raisins. Might be a cranberry. It's either a cranberry or a cherry. In you go. Oh, I dropped the Marcona almond. Ah, blasphemy. Look at that, the entire tray fit perfectly in here. A little hard to close, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, look at these beautiful berries. Look at the contrast of the reds and the purples and the blues. This is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm gonna try to put the blackberries and the strawberries on one side and the blueberries on the other, but I, I don't know how many blueberries they got. They might have a whole bunch. We're going to find out. I just want to show you a close-up of these berries. I mean, look what nature makes. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that raspberry. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, this did not fit in the container, so we're going to set this to the side. And look, look at all that we got in this container. Looking beautiful. And this is what we're removing. I'm just gonna let these go. And let's get this in the fridge. Oh, it's a little tight. Close, come on now. And this is gonna fit a whole lot better in the mini fridge than the larger containers. Let's put this up. Oh, it fits, yay. Oh, look at that lovely green color. These are gorgonzola stuffed green olives. We're just gonna add this to my last reusable container. I only have three of these containers. So when I fill these up, then I have to go to my glass jars. Now time to work on this breakfast pizza got to get this triangular pizza right there. Let's see how we do. What I choose to do is to save me from some calories. I just chop off some of the excess bread. It is good, but I don't need all that bread. So that's just a executive decision that I make for my own personal health. All right, so I got these three smaller pizzas, but it's still too big. So we're just going to shave this back a little bit until it fits. Okay, that fits pretty good, yay. Okay, that's a good fit right there, perfect. We'll just keep going until we get all of this in here. Oh, that's, look at that, that's beautiful. Square or triangular shaped pizza fit right in here, beautiful. And we're gonna pop this lid on here and get this in the mini fridge. All right, I got this glass jar here and we're gonna repackage these little orange things in this jar, but I gotta remove the mold. Oh, beautiful color, except the moldy one. That's got to go. So I'm just gonna inspect these to see if they have any pieces that really need to go. And it has a waxy texture to it. I've had these before. So this is what I'm keeping, and this is what I'm discarding. Just three little berries. All right, we're just gonna rinse these off. Can 
going to put this little towel down. And we're just going to roll these out to where some of the moisture is picked up on the towel. I'm gently patting them. I don't want to bruise them. All right, these are dry enough. We're just going to pop this in the glass jar. I love using glass jars because I can see easily what I got in there and how much. And the last little berry. Pop. Let's get this in the mini fridge. So these are all of the plastic containers that I did not put in the mini fridge so I could fit all of the food in there. Big question is, did it all fit? Let's take a look. Look how beautiful this mini fridge is looking. I've got the cannolis here, the feta, the containers of repackaged food. I've got those little fancy berries, the salad kits, the drink. Everything's looking fantastic. I got a little guacamole on the side. Beautiful. <coughs> Let's make a food pantry day lunch. Dear Joe's Avocado Ranch Salad Kit. Remember the Peruvian style chicken? Wow, look at those lines, those grill marks, gorgeous. Let's smell this, make sure it's okay. I think it's fine. It's gonna be delicious on the salad. Oh, that's looking good. Let's add this over to the salad. All right, I think this is avocado salad dressing. That look beautiful. We're just gonna make this even better. You know what time it is. Pepper, pepper, pepper. It's pepper time. Hey, okay, let's add this cheese. All right, we got some Fritos up in here. Let's add that. Saved a little chicken to add to the top. For the fruit that did not fit in my reusable container, I'm just gonna add this to the salad. Gonna get me some antioxidants. Look at this absolutely gorgeous food pantry day lunch. We have a salad kit with a big old piece of Peruvian chicken on top and some beautiful antioxidants with the blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. I cannot wait to dig into this. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, this looks good. Look at all this chicken. Yummy. Doesn't that look delicious? This is absolutely wonderful. Chipotle and Panera ain't got nothing on me. Thank you, food pantry. Let's try these strawberries and a blackberry. That is fantastic. We got to do some cleaning up in here. My house might be small, but it's gonna be clean. It might not be super clean, but it's gonna be clean enough for me. Let's go ahead and wipe off this table. Beautiful. Went ahead and took off all the little apple stickers. I just love that color. It's, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's trash day. Let's head on out to the dump and see what we can find this week. Mr. Turtle says hello. We're at the dump. Let's take a look at what they've got here. Water bottles. Oh, a little shower head. room. Hmm. Let's cook up this jalapeno cheddar bread. And here's my lunch for today. I've got the jalapeno cheese bread. I've got guacamole, those cute little berries, some of the cheese tray. Let's give it a try. Oh, this looks good. Well, the bread is fantastic. It's very salty, but I like it. 
I was gonna have olives with this, but that would just be way too much salt. But I really like it. Look at this beautiful cake. Right, this cake is absolutely lovely. Look at the colors, the design, it's gorgeous. But I've gotta make this work for me. This cake slice has 51 carbohydrates. Let's fix this up. On closer inspection, I see there's frosting in the center right there. So I think we can let this frosting go and this frosting go along the edges. So far, I took off the white frosting. It smells delicious, but I don't want it. It's too much for me. So we're gonna let this chocolate frosting go too. Looks beautiful and lovely. That's cute, it kind of looks like an elf hat. So with this cake, I'm gonna cut it in half along the center, just like that. What I've done here is I've taken my coffee filters and I've put half of the cake on each filter. One is for now, one is for later. I'm going to throw away the container with all of the frosting in it so I'm not tempted to dig into it and eat it. That leftover frosting has some weight to it. This is a slice of cake that I can work with. I took it down from over 50 carbohydrates. I guess this is at least 20 or 25, but it's more manageable for my system. So let's give it a try. Wow, that looks really beautiful. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? It's got plenty of frosting in the center. I don't think I needed all that extra wonderful it's really really good it's plenty sweet i'm not missing the chocolate or the white frosting on the sides what's in the center is just plenty this is absolutely perfect got my air fryer heated up we are making a little miniature pizza from the cheese tray the tortilla look at all that cheese got all the cheeses up in here turns out good let's look at this Hot diggity dog, look at that pizza. You know what I'm gonna do? Add a little pepper to my pizza. This beautiful little tortilla pizza. I got some guacamole on one slice. Can't wait to get into this. All right, let's try this pizza. Isn't that cute? I put it in four little slices to make me feel like I'm getting more. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's try the guacamole. Wow, the guacamole is even better. Love it. Thank you, food pantry. Oh, and all of the cheese came from the fancy cheese tray. I'll tell you this, my man got me this for Easter. It was really cute. Some type of candied apple. I can't eat it, but I just wanted to show it. I'm getting this little snack plate together. Let me show you what I do. We got the corn tortillas. Now, there were a lot of different tortillas to choose from, and the reason I got these is because it had the fewest ingredients and it had no sodium added. Now we're gonna take some of this cheese that I got on the fancy cheese tray. I don't know anything about fancy cheese. I'm just gonna cut some of this off. And we're gonna put that on the tortilla. All right, I just took a knife and spread the brie cheese out a little bit thinner. Remember I had the flying tortilla episode last year? That's gonna weigh the tortilla down. Three cheese is melting on the tortilla. We are gonna try Mighty Dozen Drink. It smells very fresh. This is very green. Let's give it a try. I really like it. It tastes like a spicy salad. It's got apple, celery, cucumber, kale, collard greens. Oh, it's got uh, mint tea, barley grass. Oh, that's what it is, barley grass. It tastes very green. Let's check the tortilla. This is a cute little snack plate. We've got brie cheese on half a tortilla, a big old scoop of guacamole, some of the fruit cheese tray right here. Let's give this a try. I 
I like the look of the tortilla. I think it looks good. Everything's better with guacamole. Let's try it. And truth be told, the guacamole, it only helps. This is one way that I take items from the food pantry and make it work for me. Normally, I would not eat brie tree, trees, cheese, but put it on a tortilla and air fry it for a couple minutes, add some guacamole, and it seems to really work. Yum, yum. Here's my last little tea bag of the chamomile CBD tea. Let's fix it up. It's nice out. Let's go outside. Look, it's nighttime. We still got daylight. I mean, it ain't night night. Mr. Turtle and I would like to thank you for watching our video. Here's a little update on the beautiful plants right here. I'm really loving the plants. If you would like to see a living in an office trailer video, please let me know. I'm trying to make content that I think you'll enjoy. The next video might come out on Friday, but me and Mr. Turtle, we're still working out this schedule. So until then, I hope you have a great rest of your week, and we will talk soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.